Remember, this is an old theory that is being reviewed to see how well it worked out. Please watch the entire video before you judge on an old theory. Thank you. We all know about the fire at Fazbear's Fright causing it to burn down on the sixth night, but what if I told you there was another fire that Springtrap was also involved in? During the minigames in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we play as the animatronics who are told to follow Purple Freddy. He'll lead us into a room and then Purple Guy will run out and dismantle us. Now, skipping ahead looking at the phantom animatronics, look at how burnt they are. They represent something that survived a fire. So who burned it down? Now, you're thinking Purple Guy did it, of course. But you're not right, but you're not wrong either. Purple Guy attempted to burn down the restaurant to destroy the haunted robots. This is seen by the black spots on the ground, supposedly fuel, and the lighter he was holding. However, something gets in his way. The souls themselves. As the souls attack him, he believes they may still follow the rule of the animatronic. If you're in a suit, they won't touch you. Then he hops into the long broken spring bonnie suit stored in the safe room, and the suit closes in on him, trapping inside the suit. The souls disappear, and Purple Guy's left bleeding out inside of his new being, Springtrap. However, we know that Springtrap can still move on his own due to him clearly being active in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So what if all that activity plus the dead body being inside of him caused the fire? You know, due to all the loose wires and the electricity going through, it could cause a spark on the fuel. Well, that can't be. Wizard animatronics all had wires sticking out and nothing happened to them. However, Purple Guy still had that lighter. In an attempt to not only kill the souls and himself, he burned down the restaurant, but survived. Survived. Later, history repeated itself, and he still survives. Forever trapped in his eternal prison, memories of what he did to those children so long ago. I'll give this theory a 5 out of 10. It helps explain the first fire in a very nice way. While some may disagree on the point saying that he caused the fire in FNAF 3, not the first one, if there even was a first one, this was popular back in the day to believe, and it keeps some of its ideas relevant. Thank you all for watching this theory. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe and like button down below, and if you have any theories of your own, leave those down below too, and I'll see you all next time.